All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. All right, I'm the Brother Ties of War. Back at you again. And uh, this one here is just a, a report, you know, just of more information coming out. All right, through various articles, different news sites, and uh, you have your boy, well, girl, excuse me, you have your girl, Lisa Haven, all right, and um, she uh, basically is speaking about from what I saw earlier through different reports, you know, she put it collectively together, you know, because there's a great shortage, all right, basically, you know, the future of America don't look good, all right? We know that this place, America, is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, all right, and also called the Mother of Harlots, which is AKA Babylon the Great. And the Lord is uh, really tearing this place up, you know, from the inside out. You know, everything is going to head in the path of destruction, all right? And the prophets prophesize week in, week out, man, all right? So. You know, this, this message is for the, those of the hopeful elect to keep eyes open, you know, and keep on um, on the watch, man. So I'll play this video a little bit and what she was saying, you know, because this is uh, some news, man. Issues hitting the shelves here we have a 22 wwlp.com supply chain issues have created shortages at local businesses then we have of course have this um pile up here california port pile up shatters records and imports still haven't peaked we have the uh shipping uh, the supply uh, containers there that are on shortages and this is on zerohedge.com these have been going on for a while along with this business insider global chip shortages are expected to cost automakers 210 billion in 2021, almost double, double previous estimates, says a consulting firm. Then we have USA Today. Uh, com General Motors to temporarily halt production of nearly all U.S. plants due to the pandemic-related chip shortages, nearly all of them. CNBC, Ford's U.S. sales declined 33% in August as chip shortages devastate the auto industry. Then we have Elon Musk, Business Insider, says that 2021 has been a year of super crazy supply chain shortages for Tesla. And then we have The Verge, why the global chip shortages is making it so hard to buy a PS5. So basically, in a nutshell, you're seeing shortages on pretty much everything, chip, supply chain, farmers, grocery store, liquor, uh, worker shortages. This isn't a, 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 this is a recipe, by the way, for complete and utter disaster, economic disaster. And all the forecasters are not predicting things uh, to be shun sunshine and lollipops in the near future, folks. It's going to get turbulent. And I really hope you are prepared for that. And keep, keep in mind, we have been warning about this on Restricted Republic for a while. So you've had the information for quite some time and hopefully you've been preparing. But how is the Fed? preparing for this because they're obviously a key to part to part of this well i believe they have a devious surprise for us here in the united states of america take a look at this article here and i want to close with this this is cnbc.com the fed is evaluating whether to launch a digital currency and in what form Powell says the Fed is pushing ahead with its study into whether to implement its own digital currency and will be releasing a paper on the issue shortly, says Jerome Powell. No decision has been made on the matter yet, he added, and said the Fed does not feel pressure to do something quickly as other nations move forward with their own projects. So interesting. They're looking into getting a digital currency. What could that mean for the United States of America? Well, goodbye paper money, right? Goodbye, you know, cash society. This would basically lead us into a cashless society. Everything can be monitored, tracked, traced by the U.S. government. They would have all kinds of information on you. And I can't, this is not a way we want to go. This is more of, uh, how shall I say, Mark of the Beast style stuff. Because the first step to the Mark of the Beast spoken of in Bible prophecy, uh, which um, 
they talk about very clearly in the Bible. The, one of the first steps in that direction is for us to have a cashless society. And this is basically what the feds are recommending by having a digital currency. What else would they need it for? We already kind of have a digital currency in the way. We have banks, we have, we have all of that, right? But why not just toss money out all together and make it all just digital? It's all out of thin air anywhere. All right, real quick, let me, um, all right, yeah, let, let me, um, get a quick preset because, you know, it's at this point, you know, everyone is seeing it. Everyone is seeing it except for certain Israelite camps of what this mark is. All right. When you follow the money or you follow, you just watch news, you know, the, 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 the position, the direction in which this mind control is going. The agenda is all geared, all right, toward the mark. You know, that's when things in their eyes will be fit for be uh, fit to be regular again. You know, normalcy. Right now, you're going to have shortages on food, water, even liquor. All right. They want to um, take away your uh, liquor and, ration, and ra rationize that as well. And they're doing that, you know, I think in Philadelphia and other places as well, you know. But uh, let's just read it real quickly. You know, uh, Revelations 13, 16, it says, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is a number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. All right, so you have certain Edomites that can see it. You got news reporters who can see it. All right, journalists. All right, alternative news. You know, it's not a conspiracy. All right, but then you got certain Israelite camps that can't see it. And that's a shame, man. You know, that, that's why we have to fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because the Lord could give you a strong delusion to believe in a lie. All right. The Lord can send a lying spirit on you, man. This is why we fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The water, the water, the water, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for opening up our eyes, you know, to see the truth. The 100% truth. All right. It says, He, which is a man, cause of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand on their foreheads. And people are taking it now. All right. It's just a, mo a moment of time. When that season and purpose come that the Lord desire, all right, and his will be done, that this man will force, all right, he will force this karagma on you. It says in that no man might buy or sell. See how the feds are creating a, a, a digital currency, you know, so they can monitor everything. It was just weeks back that they spoke about the uh, cash apps. You know, they want to monitor any cash apps. I think that's over $600, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot the exact number, but you can look it up. But they want to monitor that. They want to monitor everything. They want control of everything, even your mind, even your mind, your body and soul. It says, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. This is not talking about an embargo, all right, or Christianity, all right. King David did not have the mark of the beast. King Solomon did not have the mark of the beast. All right. The mark of the beast is in this time. All right. Which this age and time we're living in right now. Verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding. Because it's all about the understanding. It says count the number of the beast. And it is a number of a man. And his number is 603 score and 6. Which goes back to Chi Phi Stigma. The word stigma. You look it up. You know it means to prick. Something stamped, you know, something pricked inside, you know, you know, stabbed, so to say. So let's play the video a little bit more. And I have one more scripture for you. Where uh, thin air any anyway. I mean, they're printing money like freaking candy. And to put it very bluntly, uh, we now have too much money, right? Way too much money chasing way too few goods and services. Lots of money being pushed and pumped by the Federal Reserve and not enough goods to buy. This is a big problem. And it's why inflation 
happens. Imagine how much inflation is going to happen. Um, yeah, and uh, that's yesterday. Um, there was reports on they're not lifting the debt ceiling. You know, basically the hyperinflation is going to take place. All right, it's going to be very expensive to buy food, to buy items, things you need. You know that you need every day. Water. You know, you got farmers who are uh, burning crops. You know that are going along, been paid to do these to bring forth a famine. So America future does not look good. All right, it looks like it's going in the direction of disaster and destruction, as the Lord has said. All right. Uh, when or if that stimulus bill goes through, and it, it is eventually at some level, but we're talking trillions of dollars here. This isn't any small fry. Anyhow. I'd yeah, and that's basically the point. You know, they say another stimulus bill should be coming, and that might just break the camel's back, you know? But we'll see. All right, now, through all these things, the Lord told us that he would take care of it. All right, so us of the whole four elect, continue to keep praying and asking the Lord for mercy, man. You know, asking the Lord to guide our steps in righteousness and to endure, you know, with our faith all the way to the end, man. So this is Isaiah chapter 65, verse 11. But ye are they that forsake Yahweh, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish a drink offering unto that number. All right? Because you have two-thirds of the Lord's people who forget the Lord, who basically despise the word of the Lord. All right? You know, so the Lord said, because ye despise, he will reject you, you know, and your children. So the Lord said, but if ye... But, but ye are they that forsake Yahweh and that forget my holy mountain, because the real government is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It says that prepare a table for that troop, that troop is Esau. It says, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number, which is the two thirds. It says, verse 12, therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Now, when you read Jeremiah 15, 1, you know, 2, 3, and on down, it talks about from death to death to the sword to the sword. The Lord appointed certain deaths, you know. So therefore, certain people are reserved for the day of evil to meet that certain death that the Most High required to put upon them. All right. His indignation. So it says, therefore, will I number you to the sword? You know, what are the modern day sword? You got Esau's military. All right. You got the gun. OK, you have bombs, bullets. Uh, uh, airstrikes, you know, uh, Esau's technology, you know, everything that can kill. All right. Ma majorly, uh, the major sword is that uh, nuclear missile, man. It says, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter, because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spec, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. You know, now the scriptures, I believe it's second address nine. Or it might be second edge of 16 Salakia. I'm not going to get it. But, you know, the scriptures talk about the scourges of amendment. You know, the Lord sent all of these plagues and scourges, you know, for you to repent. But instead, Jake wax worse, you know, as the days go. You would think they'd be wising and up and getting their act together, you know, but not. No, they're waxing worse. So he says, when I spec, ye did not hear, but did evil before my eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. It says, therefore, thus saith Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. It says, and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen, for Yahweh shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. That he who blesseth himself in the earth shall bless himself in the most high of truth. And he that sweareth in the earth shall swear by the most high of truth because the former troubles are forgotten and because they are hid from my eyes. For behold, I create a new heaven and a new earth. And the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. And this is why the Lord is going to do this. He's going to destroy two thirds. All right. He's going to destroy Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. All right. Because he's going to create a new heaven and a new earth, which that new, I believe, goes into the word kainos.
kainos, which means to be refreshed. You know, same well, if you same way, you know, if you um you know refresh your page, you know, like just now the page refreshed. Let's see. What is a different one? New new thing fresh. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Chadesh. Kadesh. Alright. Um new new thing fresh. Alright. But the word kainos also means to be refreshed as well. So Salaki, I just want to see something real quickly. Maybe a, Yeah. Alright, so that's the point though. Alright, so it says um uh, verse 17, for behold, I create a new heavens and a new earth. All right. Now we know, according to Ecclesiastes uh, 1 and 4, it says the earth abide forever. So this doesn't mean the earth is going to be destroyed and brought back. All right. It just means a new age, a new rulership. All right. Meaning the Lord refreshing the earth, refreshing the soil, bringing us new life. All right. New life, you know, where the foods are, 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 are better, the air is better, it's clean, you know, as it, as it once was. It says, the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind, but be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For I be, for behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing and her, and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying. All right. Starting with the elect. When the Lord delivered the elect. All right. Uh, we're going to uh, be changed. OK. No more sorrows. No more troubles. You know, that would be it. No more crying. We will rejoice and evermore married with Yahweh Shai, man. All right. We'll be joined together on one accord. You know, we will have those laws in our inward parts. We'll be perfect. All right. It says, there shall be no more thence an infant of days, nor the old man that have not filled his days. For a child shall die in hundred years old, but the sinner being in hundred years old shall be accursed. All right. So basically, that's the point. I'm not going to keep dragging it on. All right. I want to stay back on the topic. Uh, this here news report, you know, if brothers haven't seen it. Here you go. You can watch. Go to her page. This is uh, your girl, Lisa Haven, <laughs> you know. Uh, but it is what it is, man. Lord willing, I pray you're edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim. I'd love to get your. Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honest to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.